Starting next fall, all four year olds in Colorado will be entitled to 10 free hours per week of preschool, but we're learning some kids could get more than that. Am Chimke with Chalkbeat Colorado is joining us live now to talk about a proposal uh, and what it would mean and who it would apply to here. I guess that's really the first question, Anne. Uh, can you talk a little bit more about what families would qualify for even more universal pre-K? Absolutely. So all four-year-olds are eligible for 10 hours a week of tuition-free preschool, but what a new rule would do is give a big chunk of those students hmm. 20 hours a week. Um, and so that's going to include um, students from low-income families, but even some middle-income families, um, English language learners, children with disabilities, homeless students, wow. and kids who are in out-of-home placements like foster care. So some extra help for those students. Um, what, what was behind th this uh, decision here? I mean, we know that going to pre-K can have a huge impact on students. I imagine those who are starting from behind uh, especially need that head start. Yeah, absolutely. So I think what you see here, the, the list of kids who will qualify for that extra 10 hours, so 10, 20 total, they, they largely are students who might be more vulnerable, might mm. be more risk for not being ready for school. I think another issue that's coming into play is that 10 hours a week is not a lot. Right. And there's definitely some concerns from a lot of um, quarters that this is a pretty minimal amount of preschool. And I think they wanted to kind of get as big of a population into that extra amount as they could. Yeah, I mean, if you think of 40 hours a week as a full time work schedule, 20 hours of preschool is about half that. So uh, are there programs you're hearing about that are going to help close the gap uh, and help more families make sure their kids are covered? Yes, absolutely. So there's there's things like child care subsidies, um, maybe, you know, Head Start could come into play. Mm -hmm. So there are some other options that can be tacked on to this tuition free state program. Good to know, and I'm sure we'll be coming out with more of those over the next year to remind people about. Uh, this obviously is a huge factor in letting people, especially women, rejoin the workforce, as we saw many of them leave during COVID. Is, is that a big part of the conversation? Um, yeah, I think absolutely meeting the needs of working parents um, is. I think this 20 hours doesn't quite get there, but definitely people have said it's a start. Mm -hmm. You know, it gets closer. Um, so absolutely. And and I think the a big question a lot of people have is, will we have enough teachers to cover this expansion of preschool? We know that K through 12 and preschools are struggling to find educators right now. Yeah, that's the $64,000 question. Mm -hmm. um, the state has quite a few things in the works to kind of attract new teachers um, to the workforce, things like free college classes, apprenticeships, coaching wow. programs. Um, I think the big question is, is will that be, will that mint enough teachers quickly enough? Like you said, the $64,000 question. Ann Shimke with Chalkbeat Colorado. Thanks so much for updating Thank us. You.